moment, all eyes on this man, Pawan Kalyan ji, joining me in an exclusive conversation. 100% strike rate. Did you expect this? I expected at least 98. <laughs> but 100% happened, I'm glad about it. What changed? I mean, what was it in your strategy? You have to understand, uh, as Janice, uh, our word percentage has really uh, doubled. I mean, uh, it is almost in a double digits. At least uh, in most weakest areas, we have around 18 to 19 percent. And the stronger areas, we have around 35 percent. Uh, but by taking lesser seats, uh, I think uh, the overwhelming understanding from people, support from people, I think it resulted in all this. And, uh, Vice versa, they, they, people understood my intentions that uh, it is not just party stability, it is the any political party responsibility is to give stability to the people. And I think that's where the vote transfer happened. I think that really helped from both sides, or from all sides, I can say. You were the game changer, right? And say that because you were the one who persuaded this alliance. Yes, I did. What is in it for you now? Deputy Chief Minister, <laughs> how many ministries? What, are you, what is your no, ask? The, the, that we will have a discussion. That we will we'll take it forward after two days. We'll take it forward after two days. Uh, but you don't have any political ambitions. You don't see yourself in the Chief Minister or Defu Deputy Chief Minister's chair? We will uh, uh, we'll explore it. We'll explore what are the possibilities we have. And uh, in the right time, I think in the next three, four days, I think we'll come to an understanding. We'll see what happens. So who's going to decide it? Uh, me and Chandra Pabagar will decide. Okay. And what I want to understand from you is, in this alliance, what has been your key takeaway? Because what has happened now is, this alliance has played the heavyweight. Chandra Babu Naidu Garu and your alliance has in fact been the biggest flag bearer for N NDA. So did you see this kind of outcome for the NDA? In AP? In, an, in overall. Overall? Uh, I don't know, but as I said earlier, it is uh, the northern part of uh, India. Um, I'm not uh, I'm that uh, not that that aware, though I have uh, an overall idea. But but the inner uh, deeper understanding, mean, uh, the the deeper impact, uh, I will never get to know unless I go there. Like the way I kind of control, the kind of understanding I have in AP. Uh, I feel whatever uh, we want to add that strength to NDA. Uh, for for uh, Modi, uh, Modi Jilla and we want to be a, a great strength, and I'm glad that we could pull it off. Did you have a word with the Prime Minister? Not yet, not yet. Okay, uh, but one thing that's also happening parallelly is a lot of guessing game. Mr. Naidu has now emerged as the kingmaker, courtesy your alliance, and it is being said that perhaps the INDIA is also making an outreach. So, is there any rethink? No, no, it won't be that because we are very committed for India. There is no second thought about it. There is no second thought. There will never be a second thought. Personally, I want to know from you, sir, what does this moment truly feel? Because 2019, things didn't go in your way, but hard work is something that you told me during our last interview. This time around, what is it that you're feeling? Your message to your fans? I don't know. For me, I look at it like, you know, all, all through my life, I had gone through failures. You know, I, I never experienced success. Hmm. Even now, uh, in 2019, if you'd ask me the same question, what I was feeling, I was not feeling anything. I said I did my duty, that's all I felt. It, it didn't yield results. But now I feel I did my duty, it yielded results. Uh, so that's how I, I look at it. Not something spectacular or not something I'm elated, but only I feel good that I have something to do, I have some uh, uh, legislative power to do good for people. I think that's where I'm glad about it, deep down. And uh, if you talk about your journey, uh, what has been your biggest learning so far? Uh, biggest learning is you have to bear the humiliation and insults and the grinding and, uh, and how to go through this turbulence to do something which you love. And I love uh, to work for people and uh, strengthen democracy. And I'm glad I have taken this path. Did you strategically let go of such large chunk of seats, 100% strike rate? That's phenomenal from your side. But is that or has that thinking been done on the back of something else? You said you didn't want the votes to split, but now that you're in power, no, is there something else that you want in power? <laughs> no, I don't know about that. I will, I will talk about it later, but the, right now I believe uh, to let something could happen, whoever, is in, whoever, has, uh, whoever is, has initiated any part who want to spearhead, and they have to go through a lot of grinding and they have to make some sacrifices. Mm -hmm. I think uh, having a uh, good change, but I said, uh, I want the people to get benefited out of this alliance. I said I don't mind uh, cutting down myself. Uh, though there is a visible strength, 
but I said I was willing to let go for the larger benefit. Okay. So nothing, no ministry, we won't see you in any major power share. I didn't say that, no. I said it will after two days I will I will come to that part. I said right now you're talking about what do you feel? Is it? That's what I'm saying. But when it comes to power sharing, it we will decide in two days. So what definitely. Kind of, what kind of Janasena? Uh, what kind of role it will take in uh, a future government? All right. What is your vision for the state now? You are an MLA from Pitapuram. Obviously, you're going to play a big role depending on what comes out of that outcome. <laughs> but what is your top five goal and vision that you want to invest? Uh, top five goals are uh, just. Uh, I don't want to rattle. If it is another uh, regular interview, I would have said it, but uh, now I know whatever I said, it means a lot. So I prefer to hold it. I'll, uh, as I said earlier, it is about, for, for me in election, I said it's about uh, uh, health, uh, education. Uh, I said in Telugu, I said Vidya, Vaidyam, Upadi, and uh, 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 irrigation, and drinking water, uh, and law and order. So health, education, and employment, uh, irrigation, and basic uh, drinking water, which people are being denied, and uh, law and order. These are the six uh, principle, I mean six formula, six-pointed formula, which I would like to. Final two questions. Your message to Jagan Mohan Reddy. You've been called many things, but today your track record has proven everyone wrong. So much so that you've gone more seats than vice RCP. So any message to him? No, no, no. So, as I said, I don't uh, hit uh, Mr. Jagan or something. For me, it is, uh, it's about governance and about policy. That's it. I personally, I don't have, I know that they did say, but that is them. This is me. <laughs> I don't like to say anything. I won't end this interview without letting you go. Cite a dialogue from one of your films, any <laughs> film of your choice. Last time I asked you this question, it went viral. This time, Which one? express your state of mind with any dialogue from your uh, film. I don't know, I'm not a much of, a, though I act in films, I'm not a film personality. You're multifaceted now, but... That, that's the issue, if you're multifaceted, you're, you're not into, especially I'm not uh, into films um, at this uh, this juncture. Um, I really am not able to recall. Because for me, I, I'm not much into one-liners, you know, but... I feel all the best, that's all I can say. Okay. We'll wait for that in the next interview, but thank you very much. What a moment for you, sir, and uh, all the very best. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.